Hello and welcome back to Selenium Training. In this video tutorial, we will be starting with Page Objects Framework, which is the main core part of our automation framework. These are the topics we are going to cover in this tutorial. We will be starting with what is Page Objects Framework and why we should use it. After that, we will be starting with building Page Objects Framework step by step. Initially, we will start with framework architecture and guidelines. After that, step by step, we will build the page object classes and then write the test cases and execute the test cases. Before starting, let's discuss few important points. Make sure that you have gone through all previous chapters and gained very good technical knowledge and experience of all previous chapters. Now we are starting with automation framework concepts and we will be using most of the topics covered in previous chapters. So make sure that you have gone through all previous chapters and it makes easy for you to understand automation framework concepts. Especially you should have gone through Selenium WebDriver, Java, TestNG and AND tutorials very well. Going further, we will first start with page objects framework. After that, we will look at other frameworks like data driven framework and hybrid automation framework. Page objects framework is the main core part of the automation framework and it sets the base for your automation. I would recommend starting with page objects framework when you are starting to develop automation framework for your web application. Now let's discuss what is automation framework briefly. Most of the times, People get confused what is automation framework or they have a question about what is automation framework. It is very simple to answer the question and a bit hard and technical to build the automation framework. Automation framework is nothing but a set of best practices and guidelines or rules that works well for your automation. Basically you define a set of best practices and guidelines for your automation so that they make your automation easy to use for you or your colleagues or anyone who is going to work in future. Then easy to maintain whenever there are changes to the application or whenever you want to add the new stuff to the automation. It should be easy to add and maintain over the time. Easy to understand. Make sure your automation is very well organized and structured so that it is easy to start and work with. Then finally, less complex. You should always try to make your automation less complex. These are the reasons why we should have a very good automation framework in place. Going further, you need to pay a lot of attention and make sure you understand each concept very well. As I said earlier, things will be very technical, so you should pay a lot of attention to understand them. Repeat videos multiple times if required and also whenever you complete a topic, practice immediately. By doing this, it will be a very effective learning and you can learn very quickly. Now let's look at what is Page Objects Framework. Page Objects Framework is a design pattern which has become popular in test automation for enhancing test maintenance and reducing code duplication. Page Objects Framework really helps you in terms of easy maintenance and reusing the code. In this design pattern, to interact or work with a web page, we create an object oriented class for that web page. We will see that soon in actual code. Then the test calls the methods of this page class by creating a page object whenever they need to interact or work with that web page. Going further, let's look at an example. If you take a web application or website, it's going to have multiple pages. Each page is going to offer different set of services or functionalities. For example, there can be multiple web pages in a website like home page, login page, registration page. There can be a number of pages and each page offers a set of services based on the page and why it is designed for. 
Let's take login page example. Here we have two services offered by login page. On the login page, you can log in by entering username and password. On the login page, you can get the page title. We will be implementing this in code by creating a login page class like this. You can see we have a login page with two methods login as and get title. To represent a web page and services offered by that web page, we are creating a page class and methods in that page class. Going further, let's see how the framework looks from the top level. In the page objects framework, each page in the website or web application we consider as an object. Then the framework is developed like this. Each web page in the web application is represented by a class. Each service or functionality offered by a web page is represented by a method in the respective page class. Then finally, we will be having our test calling these methods by creating objects of the page classes. We will be starting with framework soon and step by step we will see how to implement all these in code. Let's see why you should use page objects framework. There are a number of reasons for this or you can say advantages. Let's go through them one by one. There is a single page class for the services or functionality offered by the page rather than having the code for these services scattered through our tests. What we are doing here is we are just sticking to one page class to have all the code for that page rather than having the code scattered through different tests. Going to next advantage or reason, with page objects framework, there is a clear separation between our test code like test steps and assertions and then page specific code like page functionality and locators. With this approach, if you want to change your test, you know where to go, you need to go to your test scripts. If you want to change your page code, you know where to go, you need to go to your page specific class. It is very clear separation and easy to maintain. Going further, if there are UI changes for the page, only code within the page class needs to be changed and our tests don't need to change. For example, let's say that login functionality has changed on the website. We don't need to change our test code. Our test code will still be calling login method with username and password. What is going to change is our login method in the login page. This is really great. We don't need to change our test when the UI is changed. That's the power of page objects framework. These are the main reasons why you should use page objects framework. Let's build the page objects framework for our e-commerce test website before starting. We should define proper framework architecture and layers for a very effective automation framework. It is always a good practice to have proper framework architecture defined in advance before developing your automation framework. What we are seeing here is one of the most widely used framework architecture. In this architecture, we have total four layers. We have test scripts layer. Then we have automation framework layer, then we have selenium layer and then browser or web application layer. Let's go through each layer and see what it is. In the test scripts layer, we will be having our test scripts. It is the actual test code with the test steps and assertions. In the automation framework layer, we will be having the whole automation framework. It is like hybrid automation framework with combination of page objects framework, data driven framework and all the other frameworks. Then we have selenium or automation tool layer. This layer represents our automation tool that we are using to drive our application. In our case, this is selenium. After that, we have our actual application. In our case, it is our web application. With this architecture, Test scripts depends upon automation framework. Automation framework uses Selenium. Then Selenium drives the browser or our web application. Each layer has its own specific tasks. With this architecture, make sure that test scripts don't directly use Selenium or web application. 
all the calls to Selenium or web application from test scripts, they should go through automation framework. For example, in future, if we are going to use a different automation tool, we just need to change this interface, the interface between automation framework and Selenium. We don't need to change this interface. Our test scripts or calls to automation framework, they don't need to change. So this is the architecture we are going to follow in our automation. We will be having our test scripts calling the automation framework. Our automation framework uses Selenium and then Selenium drives the browser or our web application. Let's look at the page object framework guidelines. After that, we will be starting with the framework. Public methods of the page object represents the services offered by the web page. Whatever services or functionality offered by the web page, there should be respective public methods for those in the page object. For example, login method from login page class, it should be a public method. Going to next guideline, try not to expose the internal details of the page. Whatever internal details of the page that you don't need to know as a tester, try not to expose them. For example, internal details like web elements or web driver driving the page, we don't need to know them outside of the class, so don't make them public. Page object should never make any verifications or assertions. This should be done in your tests. By doing this, we are making sure that there is clear separation of our test code and page specific code. Going further, page object methods should return other page objects on navigation to those other pages. For example, let's say that when you log in, you are going to welcome page, then login as method should return welcome page object. Whenever you are navigating to a different page, as a result of a method, the method should return the new page object. Finally, we write the framework only once, but we write multiple tests using the framework. So make sure that framework is making tests easy to write. We will implement all these guidelines and see them in action in the framework.